Yeah, amazing the news that has been going on viral that Yoruba leader, uh, Yoruba nation leader Banji Akintoye flees Nigeria to avoid arrest, and it has been said that uh, he travelled or flee to Benin Republic. Professor Banji Akintoye, one of the leader of the Yoruba nation group, has fled Nigeria over a plot to arrest him. Politics Nigerian land that Akintoye fled Nigeria to Benin Republic to escape arrest. It was gathered that security agencies have been planning to arrest him even before the raid on the residence of fellow Yoruba nation agitator Sunday Adeyemo alias Sunday Igbo. It can be recalled that Igbo's residence was raided around 1 a.m. on July 1st, 2021, by operatives of the Department of State Services uh, (DSS) before he was arrested in Kotonu, Benin Republic, on July 19, 2021. DSS operatives killed two of Igbo's men and arrested about 12 others. During the bloody raid, Igbo, who narrowly escaped, was declared wanted for alleged list of piling arms to destabilize Nigeria under the pretext of Yoruba nation. 86 year old Akintoye left Nigeria three months ago after getting with of the plot to arrest him. He source privy told uh, the details and you know give the reasons of the matter and told punch news it is true that the federal government wants to arrest him akintoye they want to intimidate him and detain him there were plans to pick him up and intimidate him and put him behind bars in an attempt to kill the struggle but the plot was uncovered and he left he didn't step out of nigeria for more than five years before he left some three months back when the plot to arrest him was uncovered but what has Baba done if not only that he is agitating for yoruba nation he is agitating for the sovereignty of yoruba nation which is a fundamental human right they want to charge him for treason but it is not a crime to ask for self-determination or the solution of a country baba is not hiding he left Nigeria for Republic of Benin months back. He is not hiding, but you need to be faster than your enemies. Hmm, that is what it has been said, and that is what it is. That you need to fight faster than your enemies. But basically, let's look at it uh, this way. There is no enemy yet. There is no actor yet. There is no boss yet. Or there is no offense yet. So why would the federal government, you know, you know, uh, going after uh, innocent Nigerians? And meanwhile, uh, the uh, so-called Nigerian citizens have been furious and, you know, debating on the issue. Well, the whole fool should have stayed. Okay, according to Isha King and Nambra, I know these are the Fulani Janjaweed that have been, you know, you know, bribed to start, you know, declaring or destabilizing social media or comments on, you know, every reasonable uh, article. According to the person said, the old fool should have stayed. How reasonable is this comment, sir? That you are saying the Osu Finance on a high go soon clear family of full and slave Yoruba nation. No going back. Hmm. Well, it is your baba that is foolish. The mannerless, untrained, or fortunate someone like you calling someone we sold enough to be your grandfather, age mate, as foolish. Don't you see that you lack home culture? Okay, those are the Yoruba nation supporting, uh, what's it called, uh, Professor Banji Akin Toye. Yoruba nation leader Professor Banji Akin Toye flee Nigeria to avoid arrest. If you have a noble cause and the people are solidly and overwhelming behind you, arrest and detention will not kill but will strengthen your fight and its popularity. Besides, I have never heard President Mamadou Buhari killed any activist critics or agitator so the former presidential candidate who contested against buhari but became emergency agitator and activist on account of his election failure has been detained many times but freed by the court he has not been killed by buhari shut up your mouth mr koma koma who told you buhari doesn't have any agenda buhari may not have the agenda to kill but the malami the dss and the people that are hitting from the same pop of buhari who want to shun know those that are trying to agitate because they are trying to claim for self-determination well what exactly exactly is your point at 80 plus if he's detained and died in dss headquarters what can you envisage could happen you might think some your allies are not behind this agitation until one fatal thing happens yes that is it if you think yoruba or the leaders they are very very or the monarchs in yoruba land are not in support of the agitation let anything happen. Come to think of it, see what is happening to Sunday Gowo. 
see how massively they have supported him hmm. see how massively they have supported, uh, supported sunday go and Son sunday go is winning by all means he's winning he's winning well bye bye you and your other agitators will live to see the end of these evil people very soon and for the oppressors your days are numbered can't you see the damages you have done to this nation nation where your contribution to its growth is negligible even if you have the entire country to your ethnic groups alone the nation will exist no more because of bad leadership ranging from unending loans like killings uh, banditry uh, name anything negative in the world wide you will find it in nigeria of today yes in Buhari's administration unending killings and unending loans you know boring 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 and distributing among themselves the country is in jeopardy as it is cowardice many times before their death where is it stupid pastor giwa okay so many people are you know giving their opinion towards the you know the whereabout of uh, professor bangi banjiaki to ye well, Nigeria is for every one of us. Unfortunately, some people are bent on seeing the innocent Nigerians go down because they are holding on to power. They forgot that power is transient and every position ends up becoming history. We are quick to forget that nothing lasts forever and whatever we do only lasts for a moment and not forever. Let them continue. It's just a matter of time. Yes, that's well said, bro. That's well said. That's Ibuari and his alias and his carcass things the power they are holding now they will never leave it let them continue well he will think he stands let's he fall and he will think he is upholding a rock uh -huh. let him continue because judgment will befall everyone after an order yes it's not running but it's true you need to be faster than your enemies baba kudos to wisdom stronger than bullet like the bible have said that wisdom is profitable profitable to direct if Baba had not left earlier, what would have become of him? Baba is not Sunday Ugo. Sunday Ugo is just less than 50, but Baba is 80. So if you arrest Baba and detain him for two days and, you know, deny him of freedom, Baba may collapse and die in that process. So that's just their plan to, you know, actually abduct or kidnap that Baba. Some people will say it's a coward act. Yes, let it be. But it's very encouraging anyway. Because those idiots who cannot secure the country of uh, for us may decide to wage or unleash their terrorist acts on Chief Akitoye. So it is very good to know the enemy and abscond before it launches attack before we don't know who is next victims now. Well, you are listening to Independent TV 7. Well, I would like you to share your thoughts. Baba Akitoye is still alive. Oh, Baba Akitoye traveled. Baba Akitoye ran. Baba Akitoye did this. Well, it has been so very three months before Baba Akitoye flee for Benin Republic before Sunday Go was arrested. So can you see that there is every, you know, sense in every, you know, common sense and every nonsense, there is still a sense in every common sense.